Oh man, what a way to end the week guys. We've just finished off our final day of swimming along the Hidden Bays in Guernsey and it's been an epic way to start off the day. Every single morning down for sunrise, a different hidden beach in Guernsey and what an incredible week it's been. Yeah, so let's take it back to Monday guys and we'll see you on Monday morning bright and early. We're chasing the sunrise a little bit, it's a lot brighter than I would have wanted. However, our first stop is at a place called PT Port. And uh, we've been here before, we just actually uh, talked about it in a previous video, which I'll link Bo Bo Bo, one of those two top corners. And um, I'm quite excited to get back down there for sunrise because uh, we've only been there in the middle of the day when the sun's beating down on the beach. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what it looks like without even the sun being there. Yeah, we're just parked. We're just parked in here then. So of all the beaches we're going to go to this week, I feel like PT Port is possibly going to be the easiest one to get to. You point, you park up at a place just down from Doyle Column, I believe it's called. And uh, it's right beside a restaurant called The View. And then you just head directly towards the coast. There's a couple of paths. You can either take the coastal path, which goes down by the toilet block, and then goes down into a wee kind of thin winding path. Or you walk back along the tarmac road that you drove up and you turn left at a couple of houses and uh, then that'll eventually take you down to this spot as well. Now a bit of background about what we've got planned. So, we decided, we checked the tide times the other day and we realised that it's low tide. Around about sunrise every single morning this week, we're going to try and hit as many hidden beaches as we can for sunrise this week. It's going to be a sunrise mission week and fingers crossed the weather is on our side. What is absolutely hilarious is literally just last night I was editing the last PT Port video and uh, that's where I was talking about what shoes to wear and I said yeah on a final note I would maybe try and bring some decent shoes if you are coming down to the PT Port beach because the first like 100 meters across the beach it's all just rocks like this and if you're wearing like flip flops or something like that you're either going to rip the flip flops or you're going to break your ankle. And yet here I am this morning wearing socks and flip-flops, which is not only a crime against fashion, but it's also gonna make me break my neck. So wear proper shoes, guys. The stairs are really slippery, and I'm not even there yet. I've got a beach full of rocks to clamber over in my socks and flip-flops. Not gonna be fun. <laughs> here, let me step forward. What was that spell he used in Harry Potter when he got like sucked into the inferno? Oh! oh, I made it! Now we've still got to come stare. back. Just relax. <laughs> Guardian of the Osar. Okay. Just... Don't run away from me now. Now the reason I'm talking about the, the low tide is that Guernsey, I believe the Channel Islands, has one of the, the biggest tides or biggest differences in low tide and high tide in the world. Some days it's actually as much as 8 metres below a low, between a low tide and a high tide. And that's an incredible amount if you're on the beaches that often on the west coast disappear at high tides completely. You go down and you can't see anything. I think the the waves on PT Port actually go all the way up to the stairs at the top. We're now just, I think the tide's coming in. It was low tide about half an hour ago, so we've got a huge expanse of beach to play with, and uh, we're gonna do a quick change and go for a little morning swim. So you're coming down the beach, and uh, tide is way over there. You turn around, there's a pretty cool feature up here called the PT Port Cave. Now, I went up there last time, I'm not gonna go up today, but if you want a nice photo, that's where you should head up and check out. And I believe Gemma has done a smart thing. Um, it's, as I said, the tide is like rapid quick. It's possibly gonna be up at this rock in about 10 or 15 minutes. So we need to do a quick change and then get in the sea. But we've put our bags up on that so you don't get washed away. Freedom! Woo so what, I feel so tired that I can't even feel my feet anyway, so it's fine. Here comes a big wave!
you're probably looking at me and thinking, Campbell, what are you wearing? That looks absolutely fantastic and I don't really blame you because until about six months ago I'd never heard of one of these either. But this is called a Guernsey robe and it's basically a giant towel with a hood that you can chuck on after you've been in the beach. And to be honest, it's an absolute game changer for us because we were too big a wuss to put one on before, but now we've got this, we're in and out of the sea every single day pretty much. Now this robe is absolutely amazing because it's got its own hood as well, so I can get nice and cosy after being in the water. Looked like a bit of a death eater of Harry Potter, but nevertheless, it's not about the fashion, it's about feeling cosy and comfortable, it's exactly what it does. So I think we're going to call it a day down at the beach today and uh, we'll be wearing this home. So we'll see you tomorrow morning for the same thing again, guys. So good morning, you guys. Um, I'm feeling tired already. It's day two of our beach chasing early in the morning. I actually slept past my alarm this morning, which was terrible because today of all days is the furthest walk to get to the beach we're going to. But never mind, we're here. We're just on our way down. I think first light was about 10 minutes ago. The sun's due to rise in 20 minutes. And this is a view that I'm admiring right now, guys. Check this out. So this is Jaunet Bay. I might have just butchered the pronunciation of that. But. And um, it's one of the most unique beaches we've been to simply because of the access point to get to it. So you've got a hike all the way down to the bottom of the beach. It reminds me a lot of Kalinking Beach in Nusa Penida in Indonesia. I'm told it's about the same distance to go down to it as well. And the staircase down to it is simply breathtaking when you're going down there. There's a, even a step ladder to get down onto the actual beach at the bottom and it's completely inaccessible at high tide. So we've had to time this to perfection this morning, guys. So we made it with about 20 minutes to spare. I think the sun rises in about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's definitely worth a visit if you've never been here before. It's a beautiful, beautiful beach. We were here for a photo shoot with a guy we met on Facebook about a couple of weeks ago and it was kind of busy. There must have been about five or six other people on the beach, which is quite a lot given how remote it is. However, if you come at this time in the morning, I don't think anyone else is crazy enough to head here for sunrise, so best time to visit. And we're also joined this morning by our friend Natalie, who's going to be joining us for a few sea swims along the, every morning this week. And uh, yeah, it's always good by our crowd and we're excited to get into the water, so let's get going. So we're just saying I finally brought the appropriate footwear after talking about it yesterday. I wore trainers down here, which I highly recommend if you're coming because it's quite rocky and you've got some stairs to climb down onto the beach itself. So make sure you bring proper footwear. We actually forgot to bring our water shoes today, but it's quite sandy, the beach. We might not need it. And let's just hope that the weaver fish are still sleeping so we don't get stung by them because that'd be a nightmare. Can I get a woo woo? Woo 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 First moment of wet feet. Woo! Woo! Oh, CBD. Woo! 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 God! Goodness me! It's cold this morning. Oh. Woo! Right, three, two, one. Come on, your turn. I feel alive. <laughs> you can get a sandy bottom. <laughs> the other day I pulled it off and it was like, I brought the beach under the shower, it was just full of seaweed. It's <laughs> sand, it's not so bad. But... So we brought our breakfast down with us this morning and we've had an absolute oat explosion in the bag. Look at that one's dripping already still. Look at that. Nightmare. My clothes are covered. All over <laughs> Gemma's t-shirt. <laughs> Never learn. We've got 
going the wrong way, you big dementor. Unless you're going to do a three meter vertical jump up there. I think probably the best thing about coming to beaches like this at sunrise is that the fact that they slowly reveal themselves as the sun comes up over the horizon. When we arrived here it was all pitch black, we couldn't see a thing. And now that we're heading back up, it's bright daylight and we've got this cracking view to admire as we walk along the cliffs. So we are now on our way back up, that's another morning done. And uh, yeah, I'm absolutely feeling alive, I cannot wait for tomorrow morning already. I don't know where we're going yet, I'll let you know tomorrow. But the staircase up from Jenna, it's like steep, so that's why I'm blown so much. But look how beautiful a place this is, like this is just a taster of what Guernsey has to offer. And uh, the thing is, if you come to this beach and there's people on it and you want it to yourself, just go to another beach. There's hundreds of these little hidden coves all around the, all around the coast of Guernsey. And it's truly a magical place, so we'll see you guys in the mid in tomorrow morning, whatever we decide to go then. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you guys can actually hear that, but it is blowing an absolute hooli out there. It's been raining all night, and I think this morning might not be the best morning for uh, going out in a sea swim. Fingers crossed tomorrow morning's better. It is the windiest and wettest day of the week, so it should be better later. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Now, you know what? Forget about all of that because the summer here is just far too short to be missing out on a single day down at the beach. We finished up on work and the sun came blasting through, so we decided to come down to a different beach called PT Boat and try a little dip down at this place. Now, it's quite a good beach because it's actually easily accessible. Um, if you're driving along the road by the airport, there's a little turn in towards the sea that says PT Boat Bay. Head all the way down the hill to the bottom there. There's a cafe with a big car park. There's space for about maybe 10 or 15 cars. It's empty today. There's not a single car there. Maybe on a summer's day or the weekend it'll be a lot busier, but we got lucky today. And uh, the beach is literally right there. I did read online though that the cafe might not be open post lockdown. I'm not sure if it's reopened back up yet, but I guess time will tell. That explains why it's so quiet yeah. then, but you know, now's the time to come down then. It's if you six o'clock, get... to be fair. Yeah. It's another reason it could yeah, be shut. I don't think anyone's crazy enough to go and first swimming now, but <laughs> look at that. How could you not? It's beautiful. It's All to ourselves. Waiting for the tide to go out a bit. Yeah, I had to get in the sand. So it is a sandy beach when the tide is out, but right now the tide's kind of like medium height, so that's exposing mostly rocks. But yeah, the tide will be going out further and the sand will reappear. It'll be a lot later on. Yeah, Gemma went to get the water shoes out of the car and also brought some snorkels. I don't know if we'll be using them because I'm shivering just I looking know, at the I am water. Well. I'm kind of thinking it might be warmer to be under the water. Yeah, probably. Though. But now they're in the video, means we need to use them. So. Wasn't planning getting my hair wet, but there we go. <laughs> There's also some caves along at Pitty Boat Beach. So we are stumbling across the stones at the moment to go and check them out. Like this one here. Ooh. So it's just we indents in the rock obviously where the waves are like creating it. Yeah. But there's another couple down there on that side of the beach. So we're going to go and have a look at them. But you can see how high the water comes up. It comes right up to these rocks because you've got a high tide line like along in those rocks over there. So we'd be standing about waist deep in the water right now. <laughs> what do I look like, man? I look like such a cook. Oh, 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 that licked my knee. That kid's over there surfing, and I'm standing here with a snorkel mask on, too scared to get in the water. Standing up to my waist, it's so shallow, and we're about 50 meters out from the shore, so you can walk out easily. So if you're interested, there's even more caves out here. We were looking at the ones down there, but if you come all the way out to here, 
You can possibly swim at them, in them at high tide if you come down. So good morning guys, it should be light enough for you to see me now and um, we arrived at Fairmain Bay and we're going to be walking to a place called Marble Bay this morning It was pitch black when we lived in the Far Fairmain Bay car park so I couldn't film any of it but I'll give you a quick little walkthrough about what we've experienced so far so we started off in the car park you want to turn right as if the sea is in front of you turn right along that bridge and head up across the hill and keep walking that way there's beautiful views over Fairmain Bay so looking down to your left if you keep walking along, you'll eventually reach a little um, stone that's got some carvings in it. At that point, left down towards Marble Bay. So you follow that, go down the staircase all the way to the bottom, and you'll see a little harbour on up ahead. So you want to keep walking that way, and eventually you'll reach another uh, turning point. It goes left down to Beckdenes. Don't take that one. Turn, go straight, and keep walking, keep walking until you reach a little steep staircase down to your left, and that's where we are now. So I'll show you from now where we are. Sweating already. That's the only good thing about these hidden bays is that you uh, you want to get in the water because you're so warm after actually walking along the cliffs. <laughs> now as you'll no doubt here, I am absolutely blown just now because it's been up and down, up and down since the car park. And I don't think I'd fully prepared myself for it, so make sure you wear proper shoes. I brought a jumper for afterwards, but I'm regretting keeping this on. I wish I took it off because I'm sweating. And uh, yeah, be prepared for a bit of a hike to get here. But I'm told that this is one of the best beaches for uh, hidden beaches in Guernsey for sunrise so I'm quite glad we've come here because it looks like it could be a nice sunrise this morning there's some clouds just over Herm but hopefully they clear off a little bit and we can get some golden light because the sun's due to rise in about 10 minutes Alright so here we are, first glimpse of Marble Bay now there's not much of a beach yet because high tide was about 3 hours ago now it's only going to go further out and apparently this whole stretch here is just like golden sands and sun rises bang directly over there so if we get a good sunrise this morning it should be pretty good an app called photo pills for this uh, for these morning missions it basically tells you about where and when the sun is going to rise now i'm looking at the app just now and it's just about to crisp the horizon it rose technically four minutes ago but it is like so cloudy over here and uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure we're going to see the sunrise this morning, which is unlucky. But uh, we don't come down here for sunrise anyway. We come here down here to get, get a good wash in the sea and start a day off properly. It's a cool marble bay because of the number of like rocks and stuff that are sitting down on the beach. And uh, there's no sand at all, it's all pebbles. So we've brought our water shoes again, we've done the smart thing. And we're going to go for a quick little dip. Before the tide goes too far out, we need to chase it. Viking blood. Oh, the camera went. Look at that. Yeah, it gets deep very quickly here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that tastes proper strong. Oh. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> it's so, so cold! Oh, oh. 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 It's so cold! Now, Gemma has been a bit of a wuss today because she doesn't want to get her hair wet, so we'll let her off with that. But I need to make a heroic dive and I'm happy with that, so. That's this morning's swim done, I think. 
Here he comes! <laughs> So we're here. The last stop, last uh, swim of the week is at down at Fairmain Bay, and they weren't entirely sure about where to park on this one before. We've parked up the top of the hill and walked all the way down. But we were told by a nice kind local that first thing in the morning you can kind of get away. We're just parking down at the bay. It says permit only. Five signs saying no, don't go further than this, or you will die, and all this. But as you can see, there's one other car here. So what we're going to do is just park up here and uh, yeah we'll probably be away but from here before anyone actually notices Right now the sun has risen, however we got a bit distracted where we're down with uh, Ben Fiore who's a really really cool photographer here in Guernsey and uh, we're over snapping some photos at the Fisherman's Point in Fermain Bay. Now Fermain Bay as I said is quite easy to get to, you just kind of head down the road and uh, it's basically a big stony beach that is quite popular I think first thing in the morning. See this is why it's bad they opened up air travel again to Guernsey because it means it interrupts my videos. Yes, yeah, so I said it's quite popular first thing in the morning and uh, I think there's a big group of people actually down here already. We saw them kind of getting down into the water as we were still taking photos over in the point. And now it's time to go and get our early morning bath, go and baptise in the seawater. And it's not a nudist beach guys, just Emma um, came prepared in her bikini already. Mm -hmm. 